fucking, I'd do like to be beside the seaside. This time I went to walk through Brighton. Brighton's pretty cool. Brighton's pretty class. But guess what isn't the class? GoPro's cutting off. Hi, right, so I took a walk through Brighton. I was out there, just my usual camera walk, wanted to see some cool things, but I ended up learning a wee bit about working with children and animals. Oh, there wasn't any children that I worked with, there was a, a graduate though, which you'll see. But I also had the opportunity to take pictures of- Spoilers. No spoilers. Like, right up close, like uncomfortably close to these- Spoilers. No spoilers. And it was awesome. It taught me a wee lesson in shutter speed and how fast they can move. Last week's Manchester video was amazingly well received. I got a few messages for a few people that I didn't expect to see it, that did see it, which was very cool. I got some nice praise, which helps everybody. As I said last week, it's good for the soul, but it's actually good to let me know that what I'm doing is, is, is fun. I mean, I'm enjoying it. I enjoy the videos that I make, and that's all that matters. You do what you do, and your audience will find you. I don't know how much of this is in focus because my autofocus has been going mental. As usual, I had my trusty A7 III and my Sigma 28-70, which they've still not paid me. Nobody's paying me to say this. Not sponsored. Wish I was sponsored. Everybody wishes they were sponsored. It, it would help. It would help. But yeah, here's what I've seen. A lovely coastal town, city. I'm not sure of its status. It's quite nice. Has some cool places to be. Really big on the art scene again. I was down there on my day off from a tour. I decided it was much easier to spend it in Brighton than it was in London. We're going to skip a big bit into the middle, but you can see the full walk on the channel in a few days. So I came up this way and ended up at the Brighton Pavilion, which I'd never seen or heard of so was quite intrigued to see it. What a beautiful piece of architecture. Came up here, there was some uh, kids on tour. Well, I say on tour, on, on a break from their school or on a trip with their school, I don't know. There we are, we are at the pavilion buildings. Yeah, again, I just love architecture and brickwork. Oh, love all that kind of stuff. It's just a big change from the music photography that I do on the road, which we're getting to. There's going to be some of that in the next few weeks. So I was like, wow, this place is quite big. Got a few shots of what I can presume is the main entrance of the building. Quite a moody day, so I wanted it to be almost filmic. Nice high grain. Oh, I, I just love shooting that building. Weirdly enough, I'd spent this whole day on really fast shutter speeds and just relying on shutter speed as opposed to having to change my ISO and my aperture a lot. I should have went over to the Bright Museum. I think that would have been quite cool. I don't know what's in there. Visit there if you do. You can tell me. Tell me what you're doing there in the comments. What is in the Bright Museum? Wrong answers only, please. So it was just shooting around. And then I seen this young guy who's obviously just graduated. I don't mean to be rude, but 
Can I take one and send you? <laughs> it's just. I remember uh, some of my favourite photos in life are my graduation photos. Uh, my dad, we had photos with him in it, and it was class. So I was like, let's give this, give this guy a couple of shots. This is a freebie. If you like his as much as I like mine, then it'll mean a lot. There we go. I think we might edit one of these in Lightroom later. One more. Got an email address or I can get. And obviously, uh, I've got my new Peak Design clutch strap here. That's going to be used in all my future videos because uh, the strap shouldn't be a main character in these videos, but it has been and will be. So next video with strap. I hope Tom appreciates me putting this in the video. I have reached out to him. You send me a thing when it comes up. Bye. Aren't we waiting on a reply? But he's in there regardless. So I was I was quite content with myself there. Gave the, the guy some free photos. Thought I'd done a really nice thing. And I was like, aye, let's go and check out the rest of the gardens. As I approached this here, I seen this man with pigeons on his bag. And I was like, what is going on? Get the camera out. This is obviously going to be a thing. And to my surprise, he was feeding pigeons and squirrels. And it was the closest I've ever got. I don't own a zoom lens, so to have these right in my vision was absolutely mind blowing. It was so cute. I did not expect any of this to happen. Such a lovely man, he must be there all the time. The birds were so friendly with him. And they knew what they were after. He had he had nuts and seeds and whatever That's else crazy. he was feeding them. Oh, so, cute. so cute. There we go, we squeal. A takeaway from these photos here is I wish I'd upped my aperture a bit. But they award my aperture, sorry. It was yeah, I've only seen a red one once. way too open uh, it was actually and I could have had the, the squirrel's full head in focus there if I'd done it, done it right. But I was trying to compete with the speed of the squirrel to keep it sharp. So on hindsight, I could have tried some more varied settings throughout. But that's why we do this and that's why we learn. Whoa! That was amazing. That was awesome. We get tiny shiny little eye. Yeah, the beautiful wee things. Oh. Oh. There we go. There's my pal. That's my skin. That's not. Food. You wish it was food. <laughs> I thought it was kind of cute to have it on my hand, but then I realised all the germs that they carry. But luckily, always carry hand sanitizer everywhere you go, because <laughs> you never know when a pigeon's going to land on you. I'm pretty sure it's, is it no, this Sunday's National Bird Watching Hour. Is it really? Yeah, yeah the, the BBC run a thing where once a year everybody takes one hour in their garden, writes down what they see. Oh, yeah. Just to remind you that it's, it's out there. The full walk will be up on the channel soon. What has been your favourite so far? Answer below in the comments. The safe word is ice. So that's us in a white room and today we're going to be editing a photo of 
this young man and this possibly young squirrel. Unsure of its age. How do you ask a squirrel its age? Don't know. Right, so if you see here, we have this young man. So we want him to look charming. He is. He's got a wee bit of windswept hair thing going on, but that's fine if that's what he's into. So we're going to get exposed for his, his face because that's what we're here to see. There we are. If we take it down. Another bit of that. Doing this shift and double click for the whites and blacks. Make sure we've got the most out of our dynamic range. Big uh, clarita. A wee bit more contrast. It's up a wee bit. And first thing we're wanting to make it look a bit, a bit old school. So that means we need some green. Going about twenty. We want to use a vignette to draw the eye in. What have we got to do about this color? Let's see what we can do. Let's keep him, keep him on his way to looking human as well. Get a nice wee skin tone out of him. Here. Grass green. This grass should be green, you know. This guy a bit. A bit turquoisey. Aye. Check the magic. Yeah. I think that would be me done, but let's double check. Go in there. There. a bit frosty looking. Yeah, he's skin tone, skin tone. And then we're going to help the crop. We want it to be semi-traditional. No one wants. I was wanting his eyes on the third line, but I think we can standing in front of eh bring that up he's eye wing just above the halfway mark we're talking power dynamics being above the center above average graduating doing the thing being a good mine and all that sort of thing bring the highlights back in a wee bit there I quite like that let's see it against this one. The original edit is on the left, the new edit on the right. Yeah, I quite like them both. I think I like the original more though. I suppose a bit too red in the new one, but that's much more true to how he looked. Let's see if we can take out saturation. We'll get the, get the reds away. Make him look a bit, a bit more human. There we go. Mm, just a bit. Let's see. Skin. Grab him by the skin and move it around. There. That then takes away the... There, that's it. Now I prefer the one on the right. One on the left looks way old. I think I've edited it to make it look like a Middle Eastern building. I think that's the inspiration that they went for for the pavilion. And aye. So, and the next one we're doing is this wee squirrel boy. Or girl. Squirrel person. It's easier to not get wrong than to get it right. Right. Start with highlights. Contrast. Too much. Still got to look like a squirrel at the end of the day. 
a ski world. Rain. Another wee vignette. Bring your eye in. See, my fingers were bitter cold, so that's why they look pink. There is. I hit him, just me. Wish. Aye. Up it. Eye on the third line. Keeps the portions up. Passing across that lovely wee walnut. I think that's a walnut. Sharpen it. Junk. Quite like that. Let's see how it is compared to the other. Oh. Oh wow. Yeah, I really prefer the new one. What was I thinking on the left there? Hmm. Interesting. So I, as usual, let's see the raw before and after of each of these three photos. So, Brighton was a bit unexpected. I did not think that I would be doing portraits on the street or taking pictures with animals, but you never know what you're going to be doing. That's why you've got to know how to take photos of everything, because you never know what you're going to be doing. It's all light, it's all composition. There's, it's all the same thing. There's no specialist in each thing. Like, it's, the way I think about it is, it's just how light works, how you compose your image, how light hits whatever you've put in front of the lens. And just knowing how to use your tool that you've got with you, and it's gotta be awesome. So this video this week has been short and sweet. I've got to be coming back in a few weeks. I'm gonna have a really cool episode. It's gonna be noisy, and it's gonna be chaotic, but I think you're gonna enjoy it. We're gonna be getting into our first gig, and we're gonna do the same thing, but with gig photography, full set, chaos absolute chaos so hope you enjoy that when it comes hope you enjoyed this when it happened is it happening has it happened i don't know this is a premiere is it live are you watching a live bro nah i'm all joking uh, see you soon thank you very much again these are all awesome like 10 out of 10 10 out of 11 these are, these are all right i've met worse i'll see you later bye